Hello and welcome back everybody to the uh, Metroid Prime 100% walkthrough with commentary. And so this is part 5, headed into Magmore Caverns. Definitely a part of the game I love for the music alone, but also for the environments. It's a little bit of a challenge, but uh, we'll make it through it. You get to meet some new enemies and some new challenges. So, like lava. Uh, that guy in the ground there, just jump over him, it really doesn't matter. Ah, this track, my favorite. Yeah, th yeah, I definitely love this music. Just, I love this music to death. It's probably my favorite track in this game, besides maybe, um, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe the Space Pirates. But uh, if you uh, shoot that uh, little pillar there twice with a missile, try to make it in rapid succession. But uh, two missiles will unlock that artifact there, which is pretty sweet, I have to say, just because. Uh, Artifacts are kind of the key in the game, so you're gonna to want to get a hold of that. I'm trying to f remember which way to jump from, but I think you can get on top of here if you just uh, this one spot, yeah, up there. Okay, and there's our first artifact. Now, you're not supposed to get that artifact at this point. You're supposed to have to wait quite a while to get to that artifact. But um, I remember, at least with the rapid fire missile glitch, you can get that one early. So uh, I just went ahead and got it right now. So I hope you guys remember that part. It's definitely uh, definitely speeds up the game just a little. Uh, probably the most uh, the artifact you're going to want the most to skip ahead is the one in the pirate labs because that place is really irritating and you're not want to go gonna go back there. So uh, up here though we, you can jump over here uh, when the flames aren't going if you want to if you have the space jump boots. But since we don't at this point we're gonna have to go through the Triclops pit. The key here... Oh, <laughs> terrible voice crack. Okay, the key here is to lay uh, bombs and they will suck them up like a morph ball. And you can make it through. But a lot of Triclopses later on will just give you a terrible, just absolutely terrible time. Over here, though, we're also going to uh, go for uh, another missile expansion, just because you can never have too many missiles, right? So uh, down over here, we have a uh, we have this morph ball tunnel, and we are going to have to deal with a ton of triclopses. But there is a shortcut, just know that. And probably the worst part about the triclopses is not what they do, but like the humiliation of being caught by one. So uh, yeah, just gotta. Make sure to get great timing with it, and then you can make it over here. And I don't think we're ever going to come back to this area, but uh, that's kind of an exception to, to most areas in Metroid Prime, just because almost every area has like at least two pickups or has something that will make you go back there for it later on. So, missile expansion. Now up to 45 missiles, which means that it's missile expansion number 8. So yeah. I don't know, we got like, how many missile expansions in the last episode? Uh, quite a few, I think. Yeah, for sure, quite a few there. So, I'll just roll back through here, and uh, we're out of here. Oh, well, <laughs> gotta get in the pipe, right? There we are. Yeah, okay. I just can't help but humming this thing, it's just so good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're going to want to avoid these little puffer dudes. Uh, they will view out these piles of gas that can be a little annoying and will take your energy like faster than anything else in the game. But um, otherwise, they're not really that much of a problem. In terms of boss battles coming up, we're not going to be facing anything for quite a while. Uh, until the Sheikop, I believe, which is uh, at least two episodes or so down the line. Come on, I wanted you to die, turret. Uh, these turrets, I believe, are slightly harder, because they usually take about two hits to kill, versus the originals, which took um, just one on the Space Pirate Vessel. So They're not really a different type of turret, they just take a little extra, you know, stuff to kill. And there are four turrets around here, believe it or not, even though it may only look like there are three. So as soon as you get over here, 
Um, just noticed this one there. Oh, well. I guess if you, maybe they don't take two hits. Maybe I'm just bad at shooting or something. <laughs> so uh, you're going to want to climb up here first. If you want to go for another missile expansion, I'm going to show you down into probably the next episode. Um, you can go for that then. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to go to the to Fendrana Drifts. Another one of my areas I like. Uh, music's not quite as good in my opinion, but it's a lot more peaceful. Now here though we have an energy tank, okay? Now in most games, uh, like on the GameCube version at least, you're gonna have to do a double bomb jump. Now here's how you do a double bomb jump. Watch. That's how you do a double bomb jump. But on the trilogy version, since I'm playing that one I'm gonna cheat a little, and do the flick bomb jump as I call it. I've never seen anyone else do this move before, but uh, it's kind of what I really like to do, so just flick, play a bomb, and you're up makes things a lot easier and you don't risk breaking the panels. Okay, so then just drop a double bomb there and uh, we're off. Never hurts to have another energy tank. I mean, energy tanks always just make you stronger and better and so I just love energy tanks. Love them to death. But sadly we must de like depart Magmore Caverns. Though, um, like all roads lead to Rome, all elevators lead to Magmore Caverns. So there's a link between every area in Magmore Caverns, I believe. It's one to the Phazon Mines, this one to Fendrana Drifts, this one to the Talon Overworld. Uh, I think pretty much everywhere in the game there is a there is a way to go there, except the Impact Crater, of course, since that's the final area. But every other place, just you go to Magmore, you can find a way to get to that place. And the music here is just so beautiful and so peaceful. I just. The atmospheric soundtrack is really something I absolutely love. And also, these guys um, definitely do look like Pokemon, just to point that out. Um, and the reason I scanned that panel, at least I think I scanned it. Uh, yeah, okay. So that will directly unlock the door above you, which we shall uh, take up in the next part, just because. Um, uh, let's see. We're only about seven minutes in, but I think I'm going to take a break and uh, just save here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to save here, and uh, I'll see you guys next time with uh, part six when we're going to get the boost ball and such. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that, and I will see you with uh, part six after my break. So, uh, goodbye.